My name is Mike Kinley. I'm an animal keeper here at the Invertebrate Exhibit at Smithsonian's National Zoo. And today we are behind the scenes at the Invertebrate Exhibit looking at our new acquisition, 10 giant clams, Tridactin crocea, that we received from Shed Aquarium. They're such a showstopper. They don't swim around and move around like a fish would, uh, but you'll see visitors pick them out. You know, wow, look at that, look at that, wow, look at that one. I can't believe how amazing that color that one is. Uh, so they are, uh, they really are just absolutely gorgeous animals. How big can they get? Uh, they get approximately six to eight inches. They are found primarily on the uh, Pacific and Indian Ocean, so what we call the Indo-Pacific coral reefs. Uh, so warm tropical oceans, uh, coral reef habitat, um, and very clear water. The care I involved is um, high light, as you can see from, like, from this tank, very clear water, um, they will feed on phytoplankton, so I'll add them a little bit of, of, of phytoplankton to feed on. Most of their energy comes from the light, and they have the zooxanthellae, just like coral do, that photosynthesizes, gives them their internal sugar factory. Uh, they need warm water, of course. And uh, like stony corals, they have to have calcium and carbonate available to them so they can create their calcium carbonate shell. If you look at a clam from at an angle, like through aquarium glass, you will see it, it look one color. If you look over the top and look down upon it, it looks almost completely different. And the reason is it's just light refraction. The clam isn't doing anything. It's not changing color like a cuttlefish or an octopus would. You're just looking at it from a different angle. That mantle is, is reflecting the light differently than it would from the side. We do a good job at showcasing corals, but I want to bring in more species for the coral tank to show the extreme diversity that you have on a coral reef, so while it is all about the corals that are building that reef, there's also the shrimps, the crabs, the clams, for example, uh, and just how, how beautiful they are and uh, how amazingly diverse a coral reef can actually be.